in size hole. And of course I've got a, a square spade, so I made it the size of my spade. Um, nothing, nothing fancy there. Fortunately, uh, nature blessed us last night, and we got an inch and two tenths, inch and a half of rain. So our soils are pretty well saturated, which is something that is desirable when you're going to run a, a, a perk test. Um, your test is going to dramatically change if you've got totally dry soil versus soils that are somewhat saturated already. So I grabbed off the lunch counter my uh, my measuring tool here, my marking tool, and I put that in the side of the trench. And uh, yes, it was yes. Yeah. Well, in this case, it's water. <laughs> We're going to fill up our hole up to the uh, up to our marker. Okay. And our marker then indicates where the water level is when we started the uh, timing. For most soils, um, you're going to want to fill it up and then come back what four six hours later and measure how much the water level has dropped and from there it's very simple you use a, a yardstick ruler tape measure whatever to measure from the water level at that point up to my up to my stick and if after six hours it's dropped a couple of inches uh, four times Two inches would be eight inches, so it would correlate to, to roughly an eight inch drop in 24 hours. Okay. Um, if your water is moving very, very slow, uh, you may actually have to come back instead of waiting four hours, you may have to come back 12 hours or actually wait the full 24 hours to get a good measurement on, on how much your water is actually dropped. So the slower it drops, uh, the more time interval you need to give it to, to do your measurement. Right now, uh, I don't have a stick with me, but it, we probably dropped oh, close to an inch or so already. Uh, what, a couple minutes at the most? Uh, I guess a relationship, uh, we did this same uh, test here a little while ago. Roughly quarter three. It took no more than 45 minutes to, to totally empty this hole. So we lost about six inches in 45 minutes. Um, correlating that out, you're looking at uh, probability rates of, of greater than 20 inches per, per day. Mm -hmm. Are you going to want to build your rain garden 20 inches deep? Uh, typically not. Uh, the water depth would be too great for a lot of plants. But it would tell you that you could certainly build your, your rain garden 6, 8, 12 inches deep quite comfortably and the water is going to dissipate without a problem. Uh, so it's a very simple test, uh, but I think it provides you with some, some real world information about what is happening right here on your site where you're going to build it. Well, that's dropping down.